I am Wander001 and I'm taking a little break in between doing some repairs and updates to my house, which is why I have a holy and paint stained shirt. If you read the title, you know what this is a review of. So this is a review of the Cree LED light bulb. You may ask yourself, why do a review about a light bulb? Uh, it's a little thing that you can do to your house that changes the entire feel and energy efficiency, we'll say, of your house. Uh, to start, I'll just do a quick rundown of the different types of light bulbs that you can get currently on the market. You've got your standard incandescent light bulb. You can find this in grocery stores and everywhere else. This is going to be your cheapest option. Problem with this one is it uses a lot of power and it's also a fire hazard. And if the glass dome breaks, you also have problems with uh, glass shards. And if the filament is still intact and the lamp is on, you can start a fire. Next up is your CFL bulb. These are slightly newer and more energy efficient than the incandescent bulbs. Uh, these are actually what I used in my house when I first bought it. LEDs had just started coming out on the market, so they were really, really, really expensive. Uh, so I bought a whole bunch of these. Uh, downfalls of these, they're filled with mercury. That's how they, uh, you know, admit light. Uh, you always are going to have this spiral shape to them, so they don't look like a regular light bulb. Uh, you can get them with a dome around them, but there's always going to be this curly Q shape even underneath the dome. If you don't get instant on compact fluorescent lights, it's going to take a while for them to brighten up enough that you notice that they're on. They will, even with the instant on, take a little time to reach full uh, lumosity. They also are dimmable if you get a dimmable version. With that said, that brings us to the heart of the review, the Cree LED light, or Cree LED light bulb. As you can see, it actually looks like a light bulb. This is one of the main reasons I decided to try the Cree LED bulb. If you've looked at other LED light bulbs, you'll notice they look nothing like a light bulb. They kind of have like these talons that come up around the bulb, or they have what this is, is a heat sink that comes up all the way, and you're looking at just like the top half of the light bulb. They don't look anything like a light bulb, and they're really, really expensive. Even though LEDs have been out for several years now, the price on most of them has not come down. So that's the first form factor about this that I like. The reason I picked this one up to give it a try, not only because it looks like a light bulb, it was the cheapest LED bulb that you could get. This is the 60 watt warm light LED light bulb, and it was only $13 in Home Depot. That's the only place I've found them right now, and they even come with this weird looking uh, packaging. So it's not like I'm used to finding a light bulb in you know standard packaging. Uh, so those were the two things that uh, really, I want to say excited me, because it, it's a light bulb, but two reasons why I decided to give uh, the LED light here a try. Now I'm not going to replace every light in my house right now with these since I did spend all the money uh, on the compact fluorescent. Right now this bulb uh, sits on one end of my couch and I have another bulb on in another lamp that sits at the other end of my couch. So right now I'm using this in the living room because those are the two lights that are on most of the time. So for the price of one uh, for the price of running one compact fluorescent 24 watt bulb, I can run two of these and keep my wife happier because it makes the room brighter. Because uh, I'm really cheap and normally only run the one light at a time, but now I can run two bulbs to make the room nicer. Um, with that said, we should get into some of the specifications here of the Cree LED light. It is a 9.5 watt bulb for the warm LED. If you get the bright daylight version, it only uses 9 watts. The diameter of the bulb is 2.4 inches with the length being 4.6 inches. This particular bulb also from Cree is dimmable, which is nice too. Uh, LEDs, you'd have to go and get a special LED just like you would for the compact fluorescent. Uh, what you have here is a heat sink along the bottom. If you run these for quite a couple hours, this will get fairly hot to touch. I don't have a measure uh, thermometer that I can measure that with right now, so if I do, I'll annotate here. It also has safety glass, but what that is is it, a tacky tacky finish to the glass bulb, which if it 
falls down and breaks, it shouldn't shatter. The problem with the protective it protective layer is because it's tacky, it collects dust and hair. So kind of have to wipe that off quite frequently. Uh, not a big turn off, but you know it's something to consider. Now, one of the problems that I had originally with LEDs is they're very a very directional source of light. LED only goes in one direction, uh, and most of the time with the newer or with other LED bulbs, they would point them the LEDs up. So it takes care of the ceiling area, but not illuminating all around. Cree has a very interesting way of doing this. There's a tower of LEDs in here, um, and that gives it 360 degrees of lumosity, while only having a small, small shadow at the top, which is barely noticeable. LEDs are also instant on, so you don't have to worry about that. Ah, what I did forget to mention with compact fluorescence, aside from you needing instant on and the mercury, when you first turn them on, there is a noticeable humming sound. LEDs, you don't have to worry about that. There is no humming sound. So if you're considering a LED bulb to try, I highly recommend the Cree uh, bulbs here. Like I said, they look like a regular light bulb. They're the cheapest LED light bulb that is on the market currently. And if uh, it floats your boat, they're assembled in America. So why not give them a try? What I'll do is fade to some watt usage test so you can see a real scenario of the bulb being on and the watt wattage it actually uses, as well as how the light looks um, in my living room by my couch. In all fairness, I'm not going to show the incandescent light bulb because that actually was a 75 watt that I was using before. I don't actually have any 60 watts lying around. So here is the 24 watt compact fluorescent. I'll show you what it looks like lighting up. So this particular model is an instant on, but you will notice down here is slightly brighter than up here. So even though it's an instant on, it does take a little bit of time for it to warm all the way up. So this one's gonna get brighter and then it's going to slowly move up the coil. Here, we'll also go down to watt usage. And while it's supposed to be a 24 watt bulb, you can see here it's only using 20 watts at the moment, 20. But it's, it's slowly going up as the light bulb warms up. If we go back up here, you can see that two of the coils are now lit and it's working its way up to the third and fourth. As it's doing that, the amount of power that it is using is also going up. So we're gonna let it light all the way up and then I'll show you what the power usage is. So here we can see it's fully lit now and we'll go down to the energy readout. What it did was it went up to 24 as it was warming up and then slowly back down to about 22.7 and it's holding at that point. So looks like the average run for this one, particular compact fluorescent is about 22.6. Although like I said, it did go all the way up to 24, almost 25 and stayed there for a little bit as it was warming up. Here we have the Cree LED light. And as you can see here, as I was describing before, there is some hair on the bulb from the dust, from the cats. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn on the bulb so you can see what it looks like in powered mode. So that ring in the middle here is the actual LED strip because this is a tower that has several LEDs placed in it and that is what's going to be lighting the surrounding. It does go in a complete 360 around the bulb. As I said before, you will notice that there is this shadow point because that is the top of the column and there are no LEDs at the top, but it's not very noticeable uh, when you look at it from a lighting standpoint because it doesn't show a shadow on the top, which I'll show you a little later. We'll come down here 
to the power and here you can see it is bouncing back and forth between 9.9 .9 and 10 watts. So like I said before the amount of power that it uses based on what the retailer says can vary but your LED light is always going to be cheaper to run than a compact fluorescent or CFL. And here is the example of the light shining in a dark room. Just so you can see, it does not just shoot the light upwards, although you can see that there is light aiming upwards, which you also see down, and the shade itself is also illuminated all around. So you can tell that it's not just like other LED bulbs that are just aiming the light source up. I do have another one over there. So I do have two of them lighting my living room. And I must say that since I've put two LED bulbs out here, it has cut down my electricity usage by not large, large amount, but enough to be noticeable. Because like I said before, I can run two lamps instead of one lamp for less than the cost of running one compact fluorescent bulb. So for all those reasons, if you're considering an LED bulb, I would highly recommend giving the Cree bulbs a try. They do make floodlights and other types of LED bulbs, but since I don't have any floodlights around because I live in a condo, I have this particular type of bulb, and I really like it so far. I have. Uh, and lowered my electric bill astronomically, but it was noticeable. So, Cree LED light bulb, if you're interested, give it a try. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below.